Hello guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura XI and today I'm here with my Shakespeare collection. So let's get right in. So let's tackle the books. First off, I have the Wordsworth Classics one. I have three of them. Macbeth, which of course is a Scottish play. Love this. Not much to say about it. Just love it. Much to do about nothing which I also love because I saw the David Tennant and Catherine Tate version which I thoroughly suggest you go see. Um, you can watch it online, it's really really good. And of course, my very annotated copy of Romeo and Juliet. I grew up with Romeo and Juliet, I learned it in pace, I did it at school, I did it a wee bit at higher drama, and then when I went to college, I continued with it. So this has stuck with me through my whole acting career so far, and I feel like it's going to stick with me in the future, so I've got to have a copy of it. Plus, the great thing about these three copies are they're all about £2 on Amazon, and also due to the fact they have lovely covers that have quotes on them, so much to do but nothing says, let me be that I am and seek not to alter me. Um, and then Something Wicked This Way comes from uh, Macbeth, and... These violent delights um, have violent ends from Romeo and Juliet, so great plays. Next up we have two other versions, so we have the Arden Shakespeare versions, which you can also get in Othello and King Lear and probably other ones, but this I have in Hamlet, I got this from the National Theatre back in 2015. If you guys haven't guessed, and you'll guess by the end of the video, I'm a big Hamlet fan. Um, so yeah, it's my favourite play is Hamlet. Um, although Romeo and Juliet is the one I know the best, it's the one I grew up with. Hamlet is my favourite play. This is annotated to actual hell. Like, I took this with me, I went down to London recently, and I went to go see uh, Robert Icke's version of Hamlet with Andrew Scott, and uh, I took this with me. So there you go, it's annotated as hell. That is, um, mon like, soliloquies, uh, Hamlet soliloquies are all... Uh, annotated and everything. So yeah, this got, though this copy got me a 2-1 in English at uni and also I have Cymbeline which is also annotated because it's all the female monologues in it. Uh, this is one of his later plays, haven't read it yet but this is the Royal Shakespeare Company version of it. So yeah. Basically these have more to say about themselves than anything else. These are special edition plays. Richard III and Hamlet. So let's tackle Richard III first. This is Jamie Lloyd's Trafalgar Studios version from 2014. I didn't get to see this, but Martin Freeman was playing Richard III and it was at Trafalgar Studios, which was close to my hotel when I was down in London in 2014. There's a photo of me um, just standing outside, so enjoy that photo. Um, as it appears. Um, but yeah, this has a rehearsal diary inside it and an edited, edited script. So this is not the original script. This is the Jamie Lloyd's edited version. So some bits have maybe been taken out or bits have been added in. So it also has a rehearsal diary. It's so worth getting. They also did it with the Don Mar Warehouse with Tom Hiddleston's Coriolanus, which I still have to get. But this, this one is a bit more special to me. I saw this live. I saw this version of Hamlet live Really, three rows. I just, I was right at the front, three rows from the front. I'm freaking out, I did see it. Now, this means a little bit more to me than anything else because I didn't know this existed. I knew, obviously Hamlet existed, but I didn't realise they'd brought out their own script. And thanks to Joshua Hygott, who played Horatio, and who plays Horatio and is also Andrew Scott's understudy for Hamlet, he told me to go out and buy it. Basically, he was like, I had taken my Art and Shakespeare version with me and we got evacuated from the building once the play had finished after the bows and I was standing out having a sig and I was shaking and crying because it was the most magical, intense experience I'd ever had in a play or in a theatre and um, in front of me was Joshua Hygott and Jessica Brown Finlay. Jessica Brown Finlay played Lady Sybil in Downton Abbey and she also played, so she played Ophelia in this. Didn't get to see Andrew Scott, I think I would have collapsed if I'd seen Andrew. As you know, big Moriarty fan, you can't see it but Moriarty's up there. Um, so my mum was like, go and speak to him, go and speak to him, just go and speak to him. And I walked over, I was shaking and I was like, ah, you were amazing, thank you, blah blah blah. And we just got to talking, he actually was so lovely, I was telling him I was an acting student and all that and he was saying, oh cool, and I was saying obviously about Hamlet and how I love it and stuff and I was saying it, I felt like it was very intense, blah, blah blah and then he was saying, did you know that we brought out our own version of the script and I was like, what? And then it clicked, I was like, oh, they did that with Richard III, they did that with Coriolanus. And he was like, yeah, we have it, it's Robert's um, edited the script. 
completely and we have 700 annotations in it and um, I was like, so do you think, that, so will the to be or not to be bit be earlier? And he went, yeah, it's, I was like, I noticed that, it was earlier in the script. And he just sort of looked at me as I'm like, she knows her stuff. But to be or not to be in this version of Hamlet is earlier. Um, I'm going to leave a link down below so if you're in London, go and get tickets to go see this. Uh, it's 30 pounds, under, there's tickets for under 30s, for th under 30 pounds or more, less. So go, honestly, it's, it's so worth it, or go in last minute. It's honestly worth to go see. Um, So now I have this. But what Joshua doesn't know is that 10 minutes after I left him and left him outside the theater, um, I had ordered this in Amazon. So um, this was on its way, safe to say. Uh, yeah, so thank you Joshua for actually taking the time to speak to me. I know it's a lot out of your day and obviously it was a two show day so thank you very much for speaking to me. Lastly for books is, well I don't even know if you can class this as a book, it's this. So obviously as I said I was in London, this is from the Globe Theatre. This is the first folio edition of Hamlet. I kid you not, first folio edition. It sent me back £15, so worth it. It doesn't fit in my bookcase but so worth it. But look, like it tells you some stuff about it, but look, look, it gives you the original players and it's all an old Shakespearean and I just cannot even, oh this is a, my baby, this is literally, I came back and I was like mum, I can't believe it, and she's like Laura, did you not just order a Hamlet play yesterday, and I was like yes, and she was like don't you have a Hamlet play with you down here now, yes. Why do you need one more? I need them all! You know how if you have your favourite book, you buy the different covers, different editions? Yeah, this is me with this. So yeah, Hamlet, I have quite a few and I, it will not be the last Hamlet I buy, I'll tell you that. So yeah, that is that. Now on to little miscellaneous. So the first thing, oh god, they're both Hamlet related. Forgot, so I have this, which you may have seen in my bookcase a lot. This is a little skull that my birth mum actually bought me. And if you go like this, you listen to it, it goes... Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. He had worn me on his back a thousand times, and now, how abhorred in my imagination it is, my gorge rims at it. Here hung those lips that I have kissed, I know not how oft. Where be your jive now, your gambles, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the and it glows orange inside so I love it. I love my little Hamlet. He came to uni with me. I love him. I just think he's so cute. It's my little Yorick. Alas. And finally I just recently got this from the Globe Theatre and it is a badge. And it says, now I thought this was very cute. It made me remember the, the Manchester incident and I thought this was really cute. But if I zoom, if I focus, if I can try and focus, it says to be or not to be with a B. Now, how cute is that? Oh, how cute is that? I love it. I still need to put it on. I'm going to put it on my denim jacket, I think. Um, but yeah, so that's it for my Shakespeare collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see anything more Shakespeare, let me know if you want tutorials like character looks, anything like that, playlists, please let me know and I'll do it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!